so let's start the session tonight uh, our topic is going to be stresses in closed vessel you can consider this as the last uh, small topic of uh, strength of material and uh, in this topic see here we have to cover two types of closed vessels one is cylinder and one is sphere now uh, when we compare what is difference between cylinder and sphere so we find the shape and in cylinder we have two different dimensions to discuss that's why we have two different stresses in sphere we have like everywhere we have same dimension so we have only one type of stress so see here closed vessels so means our vessel is going to be closed like completely closed we are not talking about the section we are talking about the complete object the complete body we are not talking about the section correct okay now see here uh if i draw cylinder then you can judge suppose this is the portion of cylinder so if i will take any block here a small element right now what element i am drawing this element is very small element so for for explanation purpose i am drawing this a very big element now uh, in this you will be having some thickness also right in the cylinder you will be having some thickness also okay i am only uh, taking the cross section actually complete cylinder will will look like something else so some thickness will be there so that that thickness uh, i am trying to show in the element also like element will also be thicker okay now uh, imagine you have any uh, cylinder and in this cylinder you have hollow portion and it is completely closed from all the sides and inside that we are keeping gas now this gas is applying pressure to this vessel so when these gaseous molecules will apply pressure to the vessel like in this direction in this direction in this direction like this 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 at the top also like this so the entire this entire vessel will get pressurized okay when the entire vessel will get pressurized then we can experience amount of pressure p okay we will also mention that what is the mean diameter what is the mean diameter see guys some terms you should be uh, knowing already see if i consider this is the center then this is the internal radius this is the external radius so i will consider a mean line which is passing exactly from the middle so that radius i will say mean radius so in that way i have mean diameter so i got two variables one is the pressure which is being applied by the gases on the vessel next thing is diameter of the vessel so we got two things now next thing how thick your vessel is so t thickness okay so i will consider third variable as thickness thickness t now these three people will decide how much stress will develop because when there is pressure inside then this object this object it's like pressurized cooker may blast pressurized cooker may blast in that way this object may blast if gases are enough energetic if gases are enough energetic then they will pressurize the material is strong enough so we are considering that there is no blast and i want to analyze types of stresses being developed in this situation so what will i do i will think at elemental level elemental level means like i will consider that element which will be identical everywhere like you cut here you cut here you cut here you cut here it means what this element is playing that role if you understood the element completely it means we understood the uh, cylinder completely okay that kind of element we have to consider uh, for example uh, like if you want to understand a uh, human body then uh, suppose someone is uh, considering this hand and this hand they are cutting and taking out for uh, analysis and then they are coming with the idea that okay there is a blood there is bone there is muscle something something but that is not the complete analysis why because in human body 
we have few more things like we have heart here we have so like all all those things like all the organs all the hand and like they are not same so i am considering that element if i will analyze that element then this element will give me entire idea about the entire cylinder okay so for that purpose uh, i will draw this uh, element separately on a next page like this so only the element part i am drawing this is the entire element i am drawing the element what i have taken out okay this element it will look something like this okay now you you understand so when there is pressure so my diagram is somewhat wrong it, it should go like this and then then like this so see when when there is pressure so element will apply pressure in this direction also and element will apply pressure in this direction also okay element will experience not apply element will experience now suppose this is the entire cylinder so in this entire cylinder gases are filled properly so i am saying that i am taking this portion of the cylinder and i want to analyze everything in detail so this is what i am doing i am analyzing everything in detail so when we start analyzing then we are taking element out so now we are focusing on the element behavior so back side like this and this side like this so now our job is very clear we have two types of stresses both are tensile in nature but one type of stress is acting circumfer uh, circumference at the circumference so you will say circumferentially so like radially like on the diameter it's like you you understand this is your circumference right so circumferential stress you will say circumferential stress okay you understand one more thing this when stress is acting on the circumference we give one special name that we say hoop stress circumference at the circumference circumferential stress or you can say circumference stress or you say hoop stress but there is another type of stress which is acting in this direction which is acting in it's like longitudinally this this direction i mean to say when member will break suppose there is a blast and that blast is happening here so when you you will see the member it will member will be broken like this like this it means in this direction also you have uh, break and these hilly areas these hilly areas zigzag areas is giving you idea that we had stress in this direction also if you have stress only in one direction then element will break exactly like this but if you have stress in this direction also then element will break like this right so it means we have two types of element one uh, sorry two types of stress one stress we can clearly see like this and another stress we can see like this maybe your element can also break like this right in that case we can in that case we can say okay longitudinal stress was too much but these hilly areas will give you idea that okay there was a stress in this direction also right so in case of cylinder we have two di possible directions of stresses these two possible directions of stresses we used to name so in this direction like on the skin on the circular direction you see circular skin in this direction which stress is being developed first of all what is the nature of the stress so tensile nature because it, it is like blast type of nature right so blast will happen means tension will happen tensile nature both in this also in this also. i mean uh, circumferentially also and longitudinally also now see some names you should judge by yourself like uh, circumferential okay only hoop is new for you so hoop stress is uh, this name we say as hoop stress also but if i say axial so of course circ circumferential cannot be axial right circumferential cannot be axial if i say longitudinal so of course circumferential cannot be longitudinal but axial and longitudinal they are same axial and long they are same so uh, in case of cylinder after getting the physical feel i will draw a fresh diagram like this if you if you have drawn no problem same diagram i will draw don't worry uh, i will use green color like this uh, so here i am clear that this thickness is t 
and I will go with the mean diameter this mean diameter is like everywhere like this so this is D and pressure which is inside the chamber completely closed it is completely closed okay uh, gases are inside so those gases are pressurizing the chamber so the pressure is P that pressure it will be in Pascal and thickness and diameter that they will be millimeter centimeter and uh, like we have to solve the numerical for SI unit so these three people will decide those two stresses okay now you see we will give symbols now understand when I am analyzing this element so you focus here this surface I am treating a straight line but this surface I am treating curve why because cylinder correct this cylinder is curve like this is curve here this is curve here this is curve here so when element wherever wherever you will take the element it will it will be curve only correct and why I am not taking this kind of uh, uh, this kind of element why I am taking this kind of element because I should choose that kind of element uh, after judging the element I should be able to judge entire cylinder okay so this element is similar to the cylinder that's why I am choosing that element okay so elemental part is over now that element will be having some thickness so that thickness will be equal to the thickness of the cylinder okay so clear so thickness part is clear this is the thickness part okay so in this direction stresses will come out so you focus if I give name like a B C D then on face a B C D stress is acting outside correct which is perpendicular so I should choose Sigma or tau I should choose Sigma correct so I will choose Sigma no doubt why because it is perpendicular stress perpendicular to what perpendicular to the cross section right no doubt in this so now I have to think about uh, this this stress so suppose this name is EF so imagine you have a curve curved plate like this you have a curved plate <coughs> and name is a D E F here A D E F right okay so on that curved plate again you have stress coming out stress coming out stress coming out right so that stress is again perpendicular correct it is perpendicular so here also I will choose Sigma it means what in case of cylinder we are going to discuss a stress which is normal in nature focus on this normal in nature normal means normal to what normal to the pla uh, plane 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 which plane you understand in the diagram which plane it means what if uh, cylinder will break there are only two possibilities one possibility because of this or one possibility because of this now when cylinder will break what kind of shape it will gain like this kind of break will happen or this kind of break will happen okay let's check what kind of break will happen okay what kind of break will happen let's check so for that we have to uh, do further detailing on the on these stresses so this stress which is circumferential stress we give symbol as sigma hoop or slash you can say sigma like uh, it is not division sign sigma hoop or you can say sigma circumferential so for short I am writing circum means circumferential you write the complete name sigma hoop or sigma circum so for this you have direct formula no need to uh, uh, derive the formula because it is very easy topic 2d by uh, sorry pd by 2t mistake pd by pd by 2t pd by 2t is the formula for sigma hoop or sigma circumferential okay what is p what is d what is t everything is clear now uh, this uh, what you are seeing here which is this one so for this Sigma now I can give two names further I can say axial or I can say longitudinal so axial so in this topic popularly they they used to say Sigma axial they don't say longitudinal but it is longitudinal also right don't worry about this now this part formula will be PD by 4T so we got one clear picture what is the clear picture if this answer you divide by 2 you get this answer it means what Sigma axial is equal to Sigma hoop Sigma 
hoop by 2 now in future okay uh, so you have to take down three formulas one is this formula next one is this formula and third one is this formula in future if you are forgetting like uh, which one was by 2 which one was by 4 so you come to this formula sigma axial is equal to sigma hoop in hoop you are writing o o two times it means hoop stress you divide by two this is the trick sigma hoop so o o coming two times it means sigma hoop you divide by two then you will be getting sigma axial and one thing is clear p d t see here in hindi language there is a word pandit pandit p d by t it means what track will be like this pandit okay so put here division pandi pandi division pandi ta pandi pandi means division pan division t okay clear so then after that you will be confused i mean to say you have to write pan division t pandit then confusion you should write two here or you should write four here so for that simple trick what is that trick sigma axial is going to be sigma hoop by 2 okay so one thing is clear either your formula is going to be pd by 4t or pd by 2t okay so you can judge which formula should go to where so this formula you should put here then only when you will solve this you will be getting this formula so this formula is for sigma axial and this formula is for circumference or hoop stress so there is one more a small trick in case of hoop you have o or two times so that's why two comes in hoop formula okay now we'll go ahead now one more thing questions about this particular chapter is very very easy they are directly based on formula so if you see your previous question paper they have asked only two questions so like i'm talking about aerospace department so actually this particular portion is not of their interest so because this question this chapter is very very easy now what kind of question we can expect from this chapter let's bother about that before going to the question let's talk about sphere as well so now see actually if we talk about closed vessel so whenever we are trying to pack any gas in any chamber any gas in any chamber then mostly you will see that we have shape either cylindrical we have shape spherical only these two shapes we used to keep uh, whenever we want to store any fluid so why are we keeping spherical uh, surface and uh, cylindrical surface why are we not keeping cubical surface for this we have very logical answer in a spherical container a stress distribution is uniform so we can easily judge every element is under same stress in case of cylinder everywhere we have same variation but still we have two different directions it means what as a mechanical engineer if you will suggest to your company what kind of container is suitable to store your gas pressurized gas then it is this one cylindrical one if cylindrical one is uh, technically more better then why in our kitchens we are having lpg gas in cylindrical shape so we have lpg gas in cylindrical shape not because of mechanical advantages i mean technical advantages it is because of our home construction and blah blah things it's like we can place this one easily this will not uh, occupy that much distance that much space okay cylinder is not to decorate the kitchen right so we have some other advantages because of that we choose cylinder it occupy less space in the kitchen and uh, it you can store this and next to this also you can store i mean to say you understand very well what tr i'm trying to say like if this is the cylinder then this side this side this side this side this side spaces you can store but if uh, suppose you have a sphere like this then uh, this is space this is space this is space this is space we cannot store properly right so that's why we choose cylinder and one more thing when we carry cylinder from one place to another place it is easy to store in the tankers also like you can see the lorries like one cylinder next cylinder next cylinder so all after all the uh, all types of advantages your company will decide okay which shape we should go even though that is ch uh, challenging uh, technically right okay 
now come to the sphere part sphere part is very very similar very very easy uh, how sphere part is easy uh, i will use this one see how it is easy uh, <coughs> 3d sphere i am talking so in case of 3d sphere if i want to judge if i want to analyze any element so in what sense i should judge the element actually all the sides all the sides will be curve all the sides like umbrella like umbrella so suppose this is your one side and this is your another side this is your another side this is your another side like all the side will be curve right all the side is curve it means what if you will run element like this that time also it is making circumference if you will run like this that time also it is making circumference right so in case of cylinder we don't have second direction or we we don't have second idea because we don't have direction here right cylinder you keep like this or like this it changes but how will you keep this only you will rotate this i mean if, when you will change the direction your experience will not change but in case of cylinder if you change the direction experience will change so you will mention here in case of sphere only hoop stress so you mention here is fear and you just draw one line and you just put one element here and you just try to justify the element with your 2d diagram and i hope you will understand so here and here they both are sigma hoop this is also sigma hoop they both are sigma hoop okay and sigma hoop now in case of sphere your formula will be different pd by 4t okay pd by 4t now you have a trick when you will see the trick here when you will uh, speak i mean when you will pronunciate is fear is fear fear four four is coming is fear four is coming right so that's why four is fear four so four will come here clear this trick will help you in it means what in case of is fear first thing you have only one formula next thing pd by t pandit pandit is same and this 4 is there is fear so you will never forget is fear formula now this topic is very easy topic whatever question will come they will directly come on the basis of formula only tricky point will be how will you find out diameter because thickness will be there so internal diameter or external diameter so you will choose your mean diameter okay that's all done for this you should not practice hell amount of question only one or two question you can uh, uh, study just i will show you that where i have kept those those, those questions i am sharing my screen uh, i I'll, i'll show you immediately i'll show you yes screen shared now i am going to drive very easy chapter concept library aerospace aircraft structure then you come down and you can see you can see i'm taking at the top at the top you see cylinder and sphere exactly at the top you see cylinder and sphere 24 okay so cylinder and sphere is the last topic of strength of material very very easy topic when you open the pdf you will be having direct questions direct numericals but now i will tell you what kind of questions you can expect in your gate exam you can see here like the way i was trying some something similar they are trying but they are cutting the cross section like this and they have explained in this way okay concept is uh, clear uh, you don't have to bother about the proof only jump to the numerical here like you see what kind of question is there very very easy question see here diameter is given 1.5 see the problem 17.1 diameter is given 1.5 meter thickness is given 1.5 meter pressure is given 1.2 meter now where will you do mistake you will do mistake in unit conversion otherwise both the answers you can find easily you can see here they are finding out sigma 1 and sigma 2 using direct formula okay and unit wise if you will not do mistake then no problem like all the questions are very very easy so no need to waste time in our live class directly you jump to these problems two to three pro uh, two to three problems you do and you leave that's all sufficient because this topic is very very easy don't waste time here now i am going to give you some more ideas about questions 
so okay now take down this question it is different question a gas is pressurized under in a is fear with 10 pascal pressure what will be the new pressure if the diameter of the is fear doubles option 1 half option 2 double option 3 four times option 4 none uh one more thing i want to mention here by keeping other parameters constant other parameter constants means like uh, when we are changing the diameter that time our young modulus shear modulus i mean material property is not being changed and uh, surrounded uh, like atmosphere temperature those things are not being changed like these kind of like uh, only we are changing the diameter diameter is doubled okay so see here uh, i can see some of you have given answer actually guys when these type of questions will appear in your gate exam and you will see some keywords like sphere pressure diameter then you will immediately think that this uh, this question is from stress in closed vessel chapter so your brain will quickly go to pd by 40 formula in this pd by 40 formula you will engage yourself for one or two minute after that you will not be able to judge how to go ahead okay then what students will think student will send this d back side okay i will explain what I, what students will do students will do like this sigma is equal to pd by 40 other parameters are uh, like uh, constant so this t they will send down so sigma by d so they will think okay now p is inversely proportional to d so if d is being double so pressure will be half so this is totally wrong approach and wrong answer also now it is interesting why answer is wrong because see guys diameter is producing stress stress is not producing diameter it means what if you are changing diameter you cannot consider stress as constant correct because you know very well pressure will definitely change so if pressure will change of course your diameter will change uh, your stress will change now come to this point how can you be sure that if you are changing diameter stress will change because guys understand this was a smaller one now this is bigger one amount of gas is same only i have changed the diameter so of course stress will change so if you are not sure what will be the new stress then how can you think p is inversely proportional to d is correct one how can you think this thought process is correct one okay so here lot of students will do mistake lot of means i can say like 90% students what kind of students will not do mistake i will tell you who cannot do mistake who has completed all the assignments of bridge course because this question is right now what i have asked it is very easy 11th standard basic question which is based on pv is equal to mrt concept in thermodynamics this question looks like strength of material but actually this question is from thermodynamics how can i be uh, sure okay now see here we see actually if you remember we had something called equation of state so you judge equation of state pv is equal to mrt what is this equation of state if i want to relate with the same question uh it's like one is small di diameter one is bigger diameter so see here this equation of state says there is something some gas of mass m okay at a particular temperature and that gas will be having some r value that gas is pressurized under some chamber that chamber volume is v 
get the point get the point that chamber volume is v according to this volume you will be having pressure so from here you can judge pressure is inversely proportional to 1 by volume now because it is a sphere so you may be remembering the formula can someone recall the formula of volume of the sphere so volume formula is 4 by 3 pi r cube this r i can write as d by 2 okay so i can clearly see volume is inversely proportional so sorry directly proportional to d cube so this d cube i can replace here so pressure is inversely proportional to d cube so this was the question man this was the question so i, I hope now you are very very clear so p is proportional to 1 by 2d cube now so uh, 2 cube means 1 by 8 so pressure becomes 1 by 8 times so you should choose where 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 here you should choose none as the right option i hope you guys are clear tick on the screen if you are clear tick on the screen totally clear okay others very good okay so i am considering all are clear okay ask your doubt so let's discuss another question so see i was about to say that what kind of question you can expect in exam hall from this particular chapter uh for practice purpose uh what i have given on google drive that is sufficient but some tricky questions are there so for that actually uh some mechanical questions students are practicing from mechanical department but those questions are way are of very different level those questions you should not practice some people are practicing from electrical department we have a uh, topic called transformer in transformer uh, we have some chambers here there we put oil for cooling purpose some people are solving that question actually what i am trying to say i have seen some materials from uh, uh, some some students shared me from different coaching centers they are uh, allowing them to practice all these things just for show off for purpose but believe me these kind of questions will not appear in gate rsps exam what question we are practicing now and what questions are are on drive that is sufficient for this particular page now go ahead take this question i will read the question again a cylinder which is closed is pressurized with helium gas is under a state of stress what will be the ratio of hoop stress to the axial stress if length of the cylinder is increased by 5.2% do it fast a uh, few things you should take care like your uh, csa is 2 pi rh always and your uh, volume is pi r square h csa means curved surface area here this h is nothing but the length of the cylinder or you can say height of the cylinder they both are same thing so to avoid confusion you consider uh, there is no change in thickness there is no change in diameter if you are choosing none as the answer then what is your correct answer what is your ratio only two students are trying to give the answer one uh, student is giving 0.0 sorry 0.104 and one student is saying 2 remaining students are uh, okay see guys what to do how to solve the numerical first of all this is the easiest numerical of the day very very easy numerical here we are asking the ratio of hoop stress to axial stress so you don't have to think at all whatever is happening does not matter whatever is happening see understand the logic here you have two cases in one case you have some length suppose length is l in other case length is increased by 5.2% so you got a new length l dash okay now see in first case also you will be having sigma hoop and sigma uh, what to say axial in second case also you will be having sigma hoop and uh, sigma axial okay in both the cases you will be having some formulas and all but when it comes to find the ratio you have formula sigma axial is equal to sigma hoop by 2 so you reshuffle this you send this this side so sigma hoop by sigma axial is equal to 2 in this case also and same thing will happen here also right maybe individually their answers will be different but ratio wise whatever is the case does not matter correct 
so it was a trap question and that's why i was keep on saying it is a tough question it is a three step question so that somehow you should not come back to the right logic you should be roaming in the tough logics you should be thinking unnecessarily that's why i was saying tough question tough question but this was very easy question so did you guys like the question so now after this you have to go to your pdf book and in that you will solve the numerical but those numericals are not of this kind of standard they are regular type numerical and that kind of numerical you can expect in gate exam what numerical i gave just now two different numericals they were tricky numericals and these kind of numericals if they will ask most of the students will do, do will do mistake but one plus point is there right now you could not think in right way because you are thinking you are in this chapter so somewhat inertia like okay this kind of equation you have to use but when this question will appear in gate exam then you will not be able to judge like okay you are, you have an inertia you will be ready for thermodynamics also you will be ready for structure also at the same time so you may be able to catch the right path to solve the numerical okay going ahead so see guys now after uh, this topic there is a very large topic large means uh, the, like kind of summary last summary last summary we call that topic as theory of failures theory of failures we should study if and only like see other other teachers and other uh, people they teach theory of failures just after 3 4 chapters just after torsion they will start theory of failure but i don't start theory of failure now i will start theory of failure when entire type of logics i will cover in strength of matter also which is done now and aircraft structure core also okay so the theory of failure we should discuss when we are finishing everything why because then when i will be teaching you theory of failures i'll be saying that bending of thin section bending of th thick section this that torsion and all so you will be having complete idea then only you can understand okay if the actually what is theory of failure understand theory of failure is like uh, we have some set of theories okay but out of them all theories are not important for gate aerospace engineering okay what are the theories are important for gate aerospace engineering that i will teach you during when i'll be teaching you the theory of failure so after finishing the entire strength of material which is over now today and then we have to go to our uh, core of aircraft structure i will start tonight itself so uh after that i will start once uh, aircraft structure core will get over then i will be uh, dealing with theory of failures and uh, aries function very very important so these two topics i will take in the last after completion of all the units so see actually what is theory of failure for example uh, j just because i got interest that's why i am teaching here uh, actually see suppose you have a person okay this person is sick and uh, suppose this person is having uh covid suppose this person is having cancer suppose this person is having aids suppose this person is having like uh what what dangerous what else uh okay some disease other disease some other disease okay and you some for time being you consider you are not aero engineer you consider you are doctor okay so this is the first time i am giving you a chance to feel like a doctor so suppose you have done your mbbs from aims and then you have done done your md or ms like super super specialist you are now you are working in a hospital and you got chance to keep eyes on this patient and suddenly you get the news that this patient died then your first i mean you will come back and you will try to figure out which disease was responsible to kill this patient okay then you will realize oh even though person had covid aids this thing this thing but this patient died because of this d so theory of failure is very much relatable to this story i will explain how see here consider there is any random member this random member is loaded with bending also with torsion also with some axial loads also okay because of these loading conditions whatever types of stresses are being developed 
यू नो इन फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड ऑल द कैटेगरीज ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल द थिंग्स आई इधर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सिग्मा 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 टाइप और यू आर गोइंग टू गेट टाउ 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 टाइप राइट ओनली दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेसिस आर गोइंग टू बी पॉसिबल इन बेंडिंग ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन सिग्मा टाउ इन टॉर्शन ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन टाउ राइट एंड इन इलास्टिसिटी ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन सिग्मा एंड टाउ सो विल बी हैविंग नेम्स लाइक sigma because of bending tau because of bending tau because of torsion like in different different cases so if the member is being fail if the member is being fail which stress exceeded its last limit and member got fail which stress exceeded its last limit of safety and now member is being fail okay this is our job under this topic so when the topic will start it will be very very interesting so like popularly we have five types of uh, theory of failures but we don't have to do all for gate aerospace department and see in the books we have uh, in in some books they mention five types in some books they mention six types but at industry level you have so many other theory of failures to check the member those things we will not discuss at all so let the time come i will start theory of failures now let's enter into very interesting topic of aircraft structure you can consider it is a core of aircraft structure before going to start the topic let's understand the anatomy of aircraft structure i am using a word anatomy of aircraft structure because anatomy word is from mbbs see here somewhat like this when you cut the cross section of a fuselage then you will find the actually internal shape how are we building up the fuselage i am very sure that you have seen through some lot of youtube videos how the fuselage looks like during its construction time not after construction many of you have traveled in flights so that time you can see your actually your fuselage looks like this in this here we we arrange all the seating arrangement and seats will be like this okay and uh, you will walk through this gallery and if you have another store then in this store further you will be having sitting arrangements and you can walk like this but uh, you can walk flat but reality it, it is uh, circumferential i mean to say uh, i mean to take you to that point where there is something called bulkhead i will introduce actually these bulkheads and stringers and longerons they are the part of aircraft structure but i will cover them under aircraft design so subject wise aircraft design is not under uh, gate syllabus but to boost these topics i will take special lectures on aircraft design so that i can give you more better physical feel to understand the aircraft structure so physically aircraft structure some is something else but for gate point of view we have to filter our topic okay so when we filter our topic then we classify our aircraft structure in two basic structures one is going to be thin and one is going to be thick okay in thin also we have closed and open and in thick also we have closed and open okay for example what is thin see here if i will draw fuselage mono cockpit i'm drawing so here you see some bulkheads these names are actually new for you uh, bulk bulkheads are kind of circular bars they will frame the structure now these bulkheads are covered with aviation grade aluminum skins i am saying aviation grade aluminum skins okay so this green thing will be aluminum like it is a flat plate like flat completely flat like i cannot it is there is no hole it is completely like a like a plate but curved plate okay it is completely aluminum curved plate like this so under thin sections either close or open we don't discuss these bulkheads or stringers or longerons or any rod or shaft or something we discuss the layer the skin the skin skin the outer skin what you can touch okay the outer skin under thin layer we discuss that part now that skin can be of two types close and open what we have to do under our under our syllabus of aircraft structure that is actually very very lengthy at your university level but it is very filtered when it comes to our gate syllabus now let's bother about thick one okay in thin 
एंड इन थिक बेसिक डिफरेंस इज थिकनेस इट साउंड्स लाइक बेसिक डिफरेंस इज थिकनेस बट एक्चुअली दिस थिकनेस प्लेज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल सो यू विल बी हैविंग अ वेरी थिन वेरी वेरी थिन प्लेट इमेजिन दिस अ वेरी थिन प्लेट सो वेन वी हैव टू एनालाइज दिस प्लेट for what purpose we are going to analyze the plate that should be very clear so we are going to judge this for bending purpose we are going to judge this for torsion purpose are we going to judge this for axial tensile or axial compression purpose no why because we are considering that as thin thin means this cross section area we will not consider so what is the right approach to analyze them so when we will be doing bending part then immediately we will learn a technique where we will convert our entire thin plate into boom sections okay so this part is about to come in future i mean to say that everything whatever you are learning either in propulsion or structure aerodynamics we should have the complete detail idea with physical feel that for what purpose we are learning what is the background what is the gate strategy and how our syllabus is different than university syllabus okay anyway now come to this point so now i am going to start a fresh unit of aircraft structure core subject our first topic will start with polar moment of inertia of thin walled closed tubes so we are starting thin walled sections sections in today's lecture whatever uh, we will be able to clear will uh, will cover and uh, in next lecture will come into detail okay so thin walled section now see how thin walled section actually uh, it looks thin but for our understanding purpose i will draw this section somewhat like this now on my screen it looks thicker but it uh, just for a study purpose okay uh this is your internal structure or you say internal frame or you say that you have a plate in that plate the internal surface okay and this is the external surface you can consider this is a tube it is a tube you can stand here you can walk inside okay but it is very very thin and it is closed now you can have your structure like this also so i am saying thin walled section so this is also thin walled i mean this thickness is very negligible for us i will consider t because this t plays role anyway okay in formula we cannot ignore t because in formula if you will ignore t then it means there is no structure at all so some small value we have to keep now here also these thicknesses will keep in mind but there is difference between this thin wall and this thin wall this thin wall is completely closed and this thin wall is open you can see here it is not closed it is open okay uh like you can say some kind of cir circle also like this kind of circle so like tubes are there small small tubes are there so they are also thin so okay so these are the thin so tube will come under which category closed category so under thin walled section you will draw three diagrams like this diagram this diagram this diagram here you will write closed section and here uh, sorry you will write like this thin walled closed section and here you will write thin walled open section and for this circular one you will write thin walled closed section because verbally i am correct so that's why i am not uh, taking care of my handwriting okay you should take care you write neat and clean our first job is to understand some basic factors in those basic factors first thing which appears is going to be polar moment of inertia okay let's discuss polar moment of inertia this is kind of first lecture for aircraft structure core all strength of material we have covered at all right strength of material is done now here in core approaches will be different that's why polar moment of inertia formula will be different than that formula what i have taught in strength of material come like this so you have a basic formula your heading is polar moment of inertia of thin walled 
closed tubes now i am using a word tube because thickness is very small so uh, let's draw this one any tube we can draw suppose i am drawing circular tube for circular tube uh, you can feel the formula so this is circular tube it is thin so even though it is thin but we have internal surface and external surface okay so we have to target in the thin also we have to target our mean radius we have to target our mean radius so focus here this mean radius we will be using in our formula okay so polar moment of inertia formula 4 a bar square divided by now cyclic integral of ds by dt this format you cannot use directly to your numericals this format is a general formula where like which is used for any type of thin walled closed tubes it can be circular it can be rectangular or like whatever shape is there now see we have to understand the physical feel of a bar square so guys this a bar is nothing but this cross section area which is covered under the mean diameter or mean line you will mention here mean line okay like for example in case of uh, this rectangle this is going to be your mean line this is going to be your mean line you can mention here mean line okay now see how to find out area under the mean line it is not a big deal in case of rectangle also you can find out in case of uh, circle also you can find out it is not a big deal so this part is clear this part is done now in gate arrow space this for this formula is very very popular right uh, i think one or two times they have asked direct formula for the tube circular tube and uh, two times they have asked numerical where i have to use this formula but we have to simplify this formula for circle separately and for rectangle separately this is the main job of the lecture tonight okay like how are we going to simplify the main formula into useful formulas and there like this is very very important topic and uh, like if i will talk like how much priority i should give top priority okay this topic you have to keep at the top priority in your rector structure now i am changing the page and i am going to simplify okay here itself I, okay i am erasing this part you should not uh, erase from your notebook uh, i am erasing this thing and now i am going to explain how this formula works see here how will you find out this a bar square so first bother about a bar a bar is nothing but pi r square what is your r i have explained in this diagram the the mean line okay what is a area like i have shaded with green color that is area i am talking okay okay only that area you have to take now next part what is r square clear so if you square this because i have to substitute here whole square i mean square so a square value value will become pi square r power 4 clear now next job what is this ds by t guys understand this is very very important to understand this ds by t this this dotted line you are seeing right this dotted line this dotted line which is our mean line this mean line alone i am taking outside i am drawing this mean line alone then what will i do i will start from this location you can start from here you can start from here you can start from here anywhere does not matter okay i will start from here i will start from here and then i will move in this direction so how much distance you are traveling that distance at a small level i am representing as ds for example i am showing that i am traveling this small ds distance okay when you are traveling with a small ds distance then how much thickness was there i mean like this is a mean line guys in in the mean line you don't have thickness but actually reality is not the mean line reality is this one okay so here you have thickness let me erase this part just a moment i am erasing this i am making a okay you can see here suppose i start okay wait suppose i started from this location and 
I am moving on the mean line. Mean line means here. Correct? Here I am moving. So when I am moving here, so actually we have thickness, we have thickness, we have thickness, we have thickness, we have thickness. So how much you are moving? You, uh, you started from this line and you reached here. You have covered the distance ds. So reality of this ds is actually it is representing a distance, not the area. Distance, not the area. Now next point. This distance, okay. And cyclic symbol. S integration means add the entire distance. Cyclic means close. Close means from where you have started, you come back there. So in case of circle, when you are starting from this location, when you will come back here, then this entire integration will be how much? 2 pi r. That is circumference of the, I hope you understood, right? Circumference. And next part. 2 pi r is clear. Now next part. Whether this t is constant or not, how will you judge this? Whether this t is constant or not, how will you judge this? So in current qu question, like in this question, I will consider my tube is of constant thickness. Okay my tube is of constant thickness t if my tube is of constant thickness t then no need to integrate this because you know the rules of integration this t you can take outside no problem at all so this t you can remove from here and next step just just i'm erasing from this and then i'm putting t here sorry i'm putting t here and i'm removing this also and i'm putting 2 pi r sorry i should put capital r okay clear done totally clear done now you see this pi square r power 4 i will substitute here so I am removing this and I am writing here pi square r power 4. Then what will I do? Uh, 1 pi I will cancel with 1 pi and then this 2 I will cancel with this 4. So I should not do mistake. Uh, I should write here properly 4 sorry 2 and then pi and then r cube by t. I hope I have not done any mistake. Oh here divide by t. I hope you got it right. Is there any mistake in this solution? No mistake. Even though if I am doing mistake, just take care because it is simple calculation part. Done. So this became 2 pi r cube by t became formula of polar for this guy. Right. Now see how this one is different than the polar moment of inertia what we have discussed. Actually, see guys, when we were discussing polar moment of inertia, that time our plate was in entirely loaded with material it was not like this for example there is difference between a thin walled what is used in aerospace department and uh, uh, difference between the ring and difference between the disc try to understand the differences okay and this they both are different see here for this purpose, I am teaching the formula J is equal to 4A bar square by uh, cyclic integral ds by t for this portion. Not for this, not for this, not for this. For this and for this, we already know in strength of material. And this is nothing but uh, it is very easy to find out. For the entire disk, you apply the formula and for this small disk, you apply the formula, then subtract, you will be getting a new formula for this hollow disk. Okay, hollow disk is not this thing. This is not a ring as well. I hope it's clear. We have a separate type of shape that we call as thin walled section and it is closed here. Totally clear. Okay, now we will try to develop same formula in case of this guy. So let's draw this part also. Now you see, uh, first thing I, I should give you the length. Suppose this this is the bigger side. So bigger side length is uh, capital A and uh, this is a small a. And consider this is a capital B and this is uh, a small b. And consider this length is capital C. This is a small c and this is uh, capital D and this is small d. But sorry, my mistake. Uh, we, sh we cannot take four different directions four different dimensions only two different uh, different dimensions are sufficient a also a also and b also and b also okay so now you can see it is a rectangle once we got the rectangle so your first job is like you have to recall the formula formula is very clear 4 a bar is square divided by cyclic integration of ds by t now see here your thickness is not same everywhere correct here your thickness is something else 
and here your thickness is something else in that case what will you do so you try to recall your 11th class integration in 11th class integration when we used sorry 12th class integration when our limit used to change suppose uh, just an example from here to here you have different curve y is equal to fx and from and from here to here you have different curve y is equal to gx okay and limit wise if you see here you have x is equal to x1 here x is equal to x2 here x is equal to x3 this is x2 so suppose i have to integrate y dx y dx so i cannot integrate for x1 to x3 using same function correct because function is changing at x2 so what will i do i will split this integration how can i split this integration x1 to x2 i will integrate this function like y value i will write as fx dx and from x2 to x x3 i will write uh, plus uh, x2 to x3 x sorry sorry x sorry x2 to x3 gx dx right so this is how we used to do uh meeting got over so now everyone is here so see understand one more time what i'm trying to say here here we have a different thickness so consider this thickness as t1 thickness here we have a different thickness t2 thickness so because your thickness t1 and t2 they are changing i mean your t1 is not constant everywhere t1 is changing t1 is changing so that's why like in case of circular one we took this t outside he this time you cannot take this t outside so what will you do you have to keep this t here itself and you have to change your function it means what this equation which looks like this here the c c one more thing 4 is clear 4 is clear and this a bar is square also clear if not clear then understand where is a bar this mean line you will draw mean line means exactly the mean line in my diagram it may not look like mean line but mean line means from this and from this equal distance from this and from this at equal distance at equal distance at equal distance okay so now your job is to find out dimensions of the mean line how will you find out dimensions of the mean line so very very easy see the bigger line bigger line is b see the smaller line a smaller line is a small b now see here exactly in the mid you have this line okay how will you find out the like what is the uh, answer for uh, what is the length so your simple job is this total is your capital b this one is your small b if you will subtract your total b and small b then you will be getting this length this length is nothing but b minus b sorry yes correct no sorry b minus b is the gap this gap and this gap together is b minus b correct means what from this total bigger length i am removing this much length then of course i am removing this i am i am remaining with this gap and this gap okay so this gap and this gap together will be giving you length of the gap of the gap means here you got the gap and here you got the gap okay and because this is symmetrical thing so this gap and this gap when you add then you will be getting the complete gap correct that is the thickness i hope it's clear that is the thickness right anyway my style can be different to explain this your style can be different your style can be your own how to find out a bar square because a bar square is nothing but you need to calculate this area okay this internal area so when you will be solving numericals that time you can verify your answers are matching or not then you can judge your mistakes right otherwise there are so many ways to explain how to find out this area so there i am not focusing my intention i am trying to explain this ds by t part which is highly interesting in this ds by t part i will split this function and i will write cyclic integral c now actually at university level when you are solving this numerical then you will give names like uh, p q r s and you will mention that you are starting your walk from p so from p you are reaching to q so first cyclic integral you will write for p to q actually i am sorry you will not give name for p q r s you will give name p q r s for the middle one i mean wait 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 i will erase this part for the middle one means for the green one for the green one so because we are working on the green one so here you will give name p q r s 
so you will start from here you will move in this direction move in this direction move in this direction where will you stop at q you will stop so from p to q and always remember if cycle is written here then here p and q we should not write then where do you write p we write c here this c means curve i i know i, I hope you understand the single integration concept okay when i will teach you integration mathematics that time i will teach you three types of integration linear integration surface integration volume integration okay so in case of linear integration we write c here this c will denote any curve here s and here v okay so this c will represent any number like i am talking the way we used to do in our university exam or some students they write like p arrow q means p to q okay and there they will write what is the distance so this total distance you will calculate that total distance what you are calculating here imagine just imagine it is coming as a dash no something else you take what uh, uh, what distance uh, suppose y okay y so suppose y distance or take it s1 s1 much better s1 so this distance s1 what is your thickness that thickness is like what were t2 this thickness i am considering as t2 then you will put further further this thing okay and then again you put integration cyclic integration then q2 r q2 r sorry not there q2 r so in q2 r uh, you will move in this direction then whatever is the length suppose length is just 2 and whatever thickness thickness is t1 like this and uh, then you multiply 2 here you will cover this part and then multiply 2 here you will cover this part okay uh, this bottom part i hope you are uh, being clear now what to do known see don't worry about this integration sign this integration sign gets over automatically when you when you replace the when you replace the original length here automatically you are adding the length correct like moving 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 because you are moving 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 that's why you have integration but once you will substitute the entire length it means you added correct so once you are substituting s1 that time you don't have to substitute this part integration part right so this is going to be your bottom part okay now like this i can give you several types of shapes but for gate aerospace exam it is advisable to solve only for rectangle and circle this is sufficient if you are solving this much really sufficient in case of triangle same concept we have to apply but we are not going to practice triangle we will fix our practice only on uh this one and this one uh yes this is h2 neeraj h2 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 means when i was walking from uh q to r that time i considered this total length red color length as h2 okay oh one big mistake we have done in our previous one in circle our it was coming by t but by t was already in division ds by t so this t will go up i mean it will be like this uh like uh how much we are getting j is equal to 4 uh, a bar square by integration ds by t we were getting okay so in the final answer i kept t down and you guys also did not notice actually 4 2 pi sorry 4 into pi r square whole square right divide by this ds was 2 pi r divide by t so this t will go here in the numerator so it will be like this 2 and this 4 you can cancel so this will be 2 and this pi and this square pi you can cancel so pi will be remaining this r and this r power 4 so r cube into t this is the right one so i was noticing that i am doing some mistake but i was not able to identify which mistake what mistake i was doing so this t was at the bottom so it will go up it is minor mistake but take care okay now you see uh, this small topic is like uh, you know when we go to hotel we order our main course before main course we order something to eat uh, what we call as uh, can you recall the name before main course what we order thank you thank you starter so this topic was starter to enter into aircraft structure okay so starter was tasty or not let me know okay guys so structure feels like never ending subject okay abhishek no no <laughs> we will end this part successfully and properly see here we have uh, uh, we have to enter into the uh, very new portion so starter was very tasty aircraft structure we saw how to find out polar moment of inertia before entering to the subject in detail you should understand 
already in strength of material you have got the idea about different types of uh, stresses like sigma and tau different types of strains like epsilon and gamma okay or you can say phi so actually and you have also seen different types of loading conditions like uh, we have several types of load we have uh, we gave symbol p v uh, symbol f udl uvl moment and torsion all the things bending moments and twisting moments okay before entering into this area we have to go through equations first we call them as relation from relation one question will be for sure pakka definitely one question will be there for like in short we call them as for example there was a, there was a question in previous year question paper two times they have asked and i am expecting that in 2023 definitely they will drop this question again plane strain condition plane strain condition when i was teaching you elasticity that time i gave you one matrix right in that matrix i gave you nine uh, nine elements and that matrix was for 3d so when you will convert this matrix into 2d then only these four people will be remaining so that is your plane strain condition but what is the physical feel of that plane strain condition now in aircraft structure we are going to see that part actually we have four different types of relations and in every relation you have several number of equations for example there is something called you may have heard about this there is something called compatibility equation why are we going to use where this compatibility equation is going to be useful ha huh, one more thing uh, j value what we have learned tonight this j value will come into picture when i'll be teaching you uh, torsion of thin walled closed section torsion of thin walled open section okay that time this j value will appear again so uh, okay come back here so in this uh, and meanwhile whatever doubts you have keep on asking now see here whatever type of relations we are going to discuss these relations are popularly four different relations okay one very popular relation is compatibility equations equations plural under this compatibility equation we have six different equation what are they okay what are they so c actually compatibility equations gives you idea about displacement and strain i mean you have displacement because of that displacement we can calculate strain like for example okay don't jump to compatibility equation first you understand what i'm trying to explain about all the upcoming four relations you understand in this way i took the name compatibility equation there is something called equilibrium equation so this equilibrium equation already we have discussed in strength of material correct what was that what is the meaning of equilibrium equation actually when we were discussing in strength of material that time it was summation of fx is equal to 0 summation of fy is equal to 0 summation of moment is equal to 0 but here right now here in aircraft structure format of the equilibrium equation will change okay if i will write my equilibrium equation for example for 2d just an example it will look like do sigma x by do x plus do tau x y divided by do y plus do tau x z divided by do x sorry do z plus body force is equal to 0 this is the way your equilibrium equation will look like it means what all those relations why are they changing their basic formats to standard formats all these things we have to discuss in very much detail because there will be one question pakka there will be one question in 2023 so this topic plays very very important role for 2023 preparation i am going to explain all the equations one by one one by one one by one in detail and you will become master very soon see understand why like how these relations are coming so see here we have load or you can say we have force force or load these people uh, when we apply we get two important things 
स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन वाई डू वी गेट स्ट्रेस और स्ट्रेन बिकॉज मॉलिक्यूल्स विल चेंज देयर लोकेशंस सो वी गेट यू वी एंड डब्ल्यू डिस्प्लेसमेंट्स इन थ्री डायरेक्शंस करेक्ट एनी मॉलिक्यूल विल शिफ्ट सो विल बी गेटिंग डिस्प्लेसमेंट्स ओके आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस ट्री डायग्राम एक्चुअली दीज फोर रिलेशन्स वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग एक्चुअली वेन यू कनेक्ट स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन दैट इज वन टाइप ऑफ रिलेशन वेन यू कनेक्ट स्ट्रेस विद द फोर्स दैट इज अनदर टाइप ऑफ रिलेशन वेन यू कनेक्ट दिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट विद स्ट्रेन दैट इज अनदर टाइप ऑफ रिलेशन वेन यू कनेक्ट दिस एंड दिस दैट इज अनदर टाइप ऑफ रिलेशन वेन यू कनेक्ट दिस विद दिस अनदर टाइप ऑफ रिलेशन आई मीन टू से we have several sets of relations but all of them we are not covering in aircraft structure syllabus few of them we are going to cover that i call as four important relations so for that but these relations we need complete energy so we will start in next class in detail all these relations so in tomorrow's class it is important because see one more thing if you are sitting tomorrow if you like you are coming in the live class so whoever is coming in the live class you should not miss next class okay because if you are in the live class you will be you can ask uh, any any doubt quickly but if you are watching this video later it will be difficult for you i mean uh, whatever doubt will come then you have to call me and ask me so that will break your flow so don't miss next class so that's all from my side for tonight uh okay you all can leave and if you have doubts stay with me and let's start the doubt session